Hey everyone, Wiggles here. In this video, I'm going to go over how to create and host a multiplayer server in Power World. It can be quite tricky, I haven't had to do this kind of extra work with a game in a while, so I figured this video will probably help you out. Alright, let's just get right into it. So to create a new game, go to your menu, go to start game. Click on create new world, and then yeah, give your world a name. And then this next section, make sure you have multiplayer on. And once you create this world, go into your options screen and you'll be able to find the invite code so you can give that invite code to your friends and they can join that way. And then you can also change the difficulty and then you can also customize the difficulty. So here you can just change many different things. But yeah, if you're anything like me, when you go to click OK here, it'll give you an error saying that, that you have to restart your PC or the game. There's some kind of internet connectivity issue. But I tried restarting several times and that wasn't the fix. What you have to do is create an actual server on your computer and that server is able to host the people. So in the description of this video, I'll put two different websites as a resource. The first one is Valve Software's developer pages for how to host a server. This website goes over how to download Steam CMD to be able to host your own server. It has tons of different step-by-step -step tutorials for each of the different types of operating systems, so I'm sure there's something there for you. But for the case of this tutorial, I'm going to be doing it on Windows. So yeah, in this case, click on the first footnote here, downloading Steam CMD. Click on this hyperlink for the one footnote, and that'll start the download here. Once you have the zip folder, go into it and extract it to a drive that you want to put it on. So in this case, I'm on like a C drive right now, but I want to actually extract it to my D drive. So put it on the preferred drive, and then here you can see it's just on my drive, and you could select that folder, and then extract. Also make sure you make a folder called Steam CMD, and put this application in there, and then now double click it and start it. This will just make sure all the files go inside this little folder here, instead of going all in your drive and just really cluttering things up. Or you can go down to running Steam CMD here and go into command prompt, which you can find really easily by just searching CMD, and then you can put in this little prompt here and that'll help open it as well. But simply double clicking it definitely gets you to the next step. So yeah, once this is all downloaded, you can move on to the next web page here. And this is a web page by Survival Servers. This is just how to create a server. Option one, they have something for renting, but don't worry about that. We'll just go down to option two. So creating a server from your home computer. I should mention there is some server requirements here. So if you have an older PC, maybe you need some upgrading. So yeah, scroll down to step one here. So first you want to create a folder where you want to store the game and the server files. I already finished this and put this in the folder here, but I'll do it again for you right here. So essentially what you want to do is create a folder called Power World. And in my case, I'll call it Power World 2. And then put the Steam CMD folder that you created. So now that's in there. And then go into this folder location and right click and press new and then go text document and double click to go into it. And then once you're into it, all you have to do is click save as, it takes you to this screen, and then change the name to steamcmd.bat, and save. And then now, when we go into this folder, you'll see that this steamcmd is now considered as a batch file instead of a text document, so it functions a bit differently, and then you put this code in there as well. So make sure you don't close this yet because you probably won't be able to reopen it. And then put this inside of it and save. And then right click this batch file and run it as an administrator. So next thing you want to do is create a text document and then save as, so control shift S, and then change the name to steamcmd.bat. And this changes the file type to a batch file. So when you reopen this, you're probably not going to be able to reopen it. But in this case, go back here and place the following code into this file. There you go. And then save and close. And then do that same thing and reopen that new text document if it's still there. Except this time, save it as palworldserver.bat. And then inside of this one, just put this code. So start coming soon, log. Save as. Then you can delete this new text document. You can also go through this and configure and customize the server. But for the purposes of this video, this is all you need to know. And here now, if you did run in that issue earlier, it should be working. And there you go. 
I should note, after having all of this set up properly, it still didn't work one last time until I went into the Steam CMD folder and ran this application here, the Steam CMD application. And once I ran this and let it go one more time, then the next time I clicked OK on Power World, it worked. So yeah, once you get into the server, all you have to do is press Escape, and then you can see your invite codes right here. Click on this little thing, and it'll show you the invite code, and then anyone can join when you give them that code. And if your friend is the one with the server, all you have to do is click Join Multiplayer Game via Invite Code, and then put the invite code here. I hope this video helped you out. If it did, please give this video a like to tell YouTube that it's a good video so it can be shown to more people like yourself. And please subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. Thanks for watching everyone. Cheers.